Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and a video based on Le Mans every day this week. A great reason to subscribe but an absolutely mental undertaking. Maybe a little regret starting to come through. But today we are looking at 10 teams I'd love to see come back to Le Mans. Some of them are historic winners. Others are just interesting manufacturers I'd love to see return in some form. What I'd really love to see back is the old running starts. There's a lot of drama in the drivers having to race to their cars, jump in and then go. But it's not going to happen ever again, sadly. It really can't. But a boy can dream. With that said, sit back, relax and let's begin. Sport. Number 10, Ferrari. But there's Ferraris on the grid, I hear you say. Well, settle down, slap nuts, I'm getting to it. Whilst there is a works supported team in AF course, there hasn't been a works Ferrari team since Ford scared them off in 1968, and Ferrari ended all sports car racing for the team after a poor 1973 Formula 1 season to concentrate efforts on the pinnacle of motor racing. There was talks even as late as last year of a works hypercar effort, but Ferrari seems to have put an end to that before it even began. Ferrari have made some of the most beautiful Le Mans races, and I'd love to see them return in a works capacity. Number 9, Bugatti. You can't convince me that the Veyron wouldn't make a brilliant hypercar. Volkswagen pulled Audi and Porsche out of the series after the emissions scandal, and they also own Bugatti, so I doubt we will see the name return anytime soon. Bugatti have two wins at Le Mans in 1937 and 1939 in a T57, but wouldn't return until 1994, some 55 years later, in the GT class with a Bugatti EB110, driven by Eric Hellery, John Christophe Bouillon and Alan Cudini. It sadly wouldn't see the finish line after crashing late on. Come on Bugatti, get a Veyron on the grid. Number 8, Bentley. Bentley were at the first Le Mans 24 hour race in 1923. They would win in 1924, and the Bentley boys would take four more victories by 1930. Bentley would then be gone until 2001, when the new Bentley boys had a few goes before a famous 1-2 finish in 2003, with Ronaldo Capello, Tom Christensen and Guy Smith winning. The Bentley Continental makes a very good GT car, but I'd love to see the old British name back on top in the 24-hour classic. Number 7, Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo are another Italian manufacturer who has made some beautiful Le Mans cars over the years. It was the Alfa Romeo 8C that took four wins in a row between 1931 and 1934, but Alfa gave up sports car racing to concentrate on Grand Prix. but they would return with Formula 1 legend Juan Manuel Fangio in 1953, who had failed to finish in the Alfa Romeo 6C 3000. Alfa would return in 1968 in the 2-litre class with an Alfa Romeo T33-2. They dominated their class and finished 4th, 5th and 6th overall. Alfa Romeo would win 7 out of 8 rounds of the 1975 Sports Car Championship but did not enter Le Mans and have not been back since. But there was a secret project in the early 1990s but never saw the light of day. The SE048 SP Looks pretty special and sadly Alfa Romeo haven't been seen at Le Mans in over 40 years. Number 6 Maserati Maserati have never really had any success at Le Mans but they did compete when Ferrari dominated the race so it's their own fault. But I really like the birdcage Maserati Tipo 151 and I like Maserati as a brand. They have an incredible history in motorsport and when the MC12 came out I thought it was going to be a Le Mans legend but it wasn't allowed to race because it was too wide or something. There was a 75th anniversary birdcage concept car and it looks like a MC20 is in the works so maybe we'll see Maserati return someday. Number 5 Lancia I have discussed Lancia a few times on this channel and their brief time in sports car racing in the early to mid 80s with the LC1 and the LC2. Trying and usually failing to challenge the might of the Porsche team there was class success in 1951 with the Lancia Aurelia B20 GT and honestly I want to see Lancia back in motorsport of any kind but they don't even really make cars anymore so it's unlikely in the near future. Number 4 De Tomaza. Now De Tomaza do not have a legendary win record at Le Mans and actually don't have too much history in sports car racing in general 
but I had a die-cast model of the 1975 Pantera that raced at Le Mans, so it is a team that offers nostalgic memories for me. And the new owners have made the P72, which looks like it would be a great hypercar, so it's still time to make history, Data Marza. Number 3, Jaguar. Silk Cut Jaguar, need I say more? Well, also the success in the 1950s with the XK120C, the C-Type and the D-Type, that took 5 wins in 7 years. Jaguar are the 4th most successful manufacturer in Le Mans history, and the Silk Cut Jaguar was iconic, winning in 1988 and 1990. I'd love to see Jaguar back, they could definitely have a GT car. In fact, a Jaguar XKR raced at Le Mans in 2010, it qualified last and didn't make it past 4 laps. Hopefully if they come back they can do better than that. Number 2 TVR But frontrunner motorsport, didn't you realise that TVR racing is already back at Le Mans with Rebellion? You're so stupid! I do know that, but it doesn't count. It doesn't say TVR anywhere on the entry sheet and TVR aren't making the cars, so sit back down. The TVRs I remember at Le Mans were again 2003 with the DeWalt T400R. They didn't do very well, but they were a small team with a small budget, and sadly the Le Mans dream came to an end when a Russian brought the company and pretty much killed it. They're back though, and maybe Rebellion will become a full works TVR team one day, which would be nice to see. Number 1. Lister It is the name Lister Storm, I think. It makes it sound like a god of a car despite never really having much success. Lister have been around since the 50s, collapsing and reforming, and now they make tuned out modified Jaguars for big money. But it was the Lister Storm GT, which raced at Le Mans in 95 and 96, that caught my attention. It looked badass and had a cool name. That's all I needed. They did enter a car in the 2006 Le Mans, but it wasn't very good, and plans for a GT car were soon scrapped, and they seem happy tuning Jaguars nowadays, so that's probably the end of it. So that is my list of 10 manufacturers I'd love to see return to the Le Mans 24 hours. Are there any you'd love to see come back? There's a lot of other manufacturers out there. Who are your favourites? Let me know in the comments below and also subscribe. Check back every day this week for a new video themed around Le Mans. And with that, have a good one.